Hey there, I've done a few videos on Notebook LM, the Google AI products, which allows you to bring in different sources like websites and YouTube videos or Google Docs, uh, and then to have the AI analyze them. Uh, and it can even create sort of mind maps and um, you know, podcasts based on it. It's a fantastic tool. They've now got a, a mobile app, both on Android and iOS. Um, it's only just been released. I've just been taking a look. Uh, it's pretty bare bones at the moment in terms of what it can do. Um, you know, in terms of functionality, it can do the basic thing of adding sources uh, and then you can sort of chat with it. It can also do the or, sort of audio podcasts. Um, however, it can't do the mind maps. They might be quite difficult to show on the, the, the mobile screen at the moment. There also seems to be some limitations uh, in what sources you can uh, add. I mean, you can do YouTube videos, websites, and PDFs, I think, but you can't look at your Google Drive and your Google Docs and Google Slides and things like that at the moment. Uh, maybe that functionality will come later. Um, I think from my perspective, the most interesting thing is the, uh, the podcast. It's so much easier to access and listen to them on your mobile device uh, than on the desktop, I think. So you can sort of see here, Um, and this even allows you to do the sort of interactive podcast as well, where you can ask it questions. So you can see here, if I play it, oh, sorry. Now in this version, you can sort of actually interact with the podcast and ask questions about the sources uh, to the two speakers. So, so to give you an example, I wanted to ask, is it normal to sit at a table and for someone to come and wait on you in an English pub? That's a great question. And it touches on a, a really key difference we were just about to get into. Yeah, based on what our sources say, in a traditional British pub, you generally wouldn't sit at a table and expect someone to come take your order for drink. So you can see this is a you know, fantastic tool. Um, you know, for teachers, but especially for students. You could use it probably in class um, for, for listening activities or speaking activities, um, but also a great way for students to practice themselves, you know, interacting with speakers, asking questions, understanding the content, asking follow-up questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, like I said, still quite basic at the moment. I imagine it will improve in the future, but just the ability to access the podcasts and to do the interactive podcast as well, I think is a real sort of game changer. Try it out, let us know what you think.